Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I have a category Bolo video for you guys, and I am about to knock your socks off. In this video, I am going to share with you the top selling. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Empty box to be on the look for. There's like number, there's like a number one, if that makes any sense. Like as I was researching, I just kept seeing the same category over and over and over again. Now, with that being said, there are a lot of empty boxes that go for big money. And I know you're probably looking at me thinking, empty boxes are a bolo? Like empty boxes are trash, right? No, 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 no. Stay tuned. Let's get started. All right. So we're going to start here with this first one. And it is a vintage 1986 Quaker Life empty cereal box. And I looked at this one and I thought, mm, I don't know if this was like legit or not, but I guess it has guess who's Mikey rare poster. So maybe the poster is what's making it valuable. I'm not really sure. But here's the cereal box. Here is the poster. <laughs> and you guys, this sold for $99.99 plus shipping. And I did check the feedback. And as you can see right here, great item, great seller. So this was a legit sale. The next item is this G.I. Joe talking action soldier empty box only. So empty toy boxes would be another great item to be on the lookout for. You're probably looking for things that are vintage harder to find. You know, people had um, toys as kids and they have the toy, but they don't have the box and they will pay up for the box. This sold for $103.99 plus shipping. So I have either verified these with feedback or I have went into the store to make sure that the item was not relisted. So that is the best way I can determine that it was a legit sale. All right, the next item is this 1985 vintage NES Ninten Nintendo Deluxe Set. It's the box only, and it says ROB Amazing Box. So this is just the box, and they did do a video. If you guys don't know, you can add a video to your... Um, it's right up here with your photos, and it's the second one. And I do think there is like an amount of time you have to wait for it to be approved, you used to put it down in the description. This is much easier for the buyer to, or the person looking at your listing to see. So I have been taking advantage of this feature. I believe you can only do it from your desktop. So you just save it to your desktop and then you just click um, add and you just add it. It's really, really easy. Much quicker than the other way where you have to make a YouTube video, you have to add it to your description. This is so much quicker. So do I recommend it? Yes, it's very, very easy, uh, user-friendly and easy. So this is just the box. This one has some damage. So you do want to point out any damage in the photos. If you're doing a actual video, you can talk and explain the damage. So that's another great feature of using the video. So it doesn't necessarily have to be for a toy or something that's animated or something that functions. It can be used to show condition as well. All right, this one... Um, I was searching vintage empty boxes and this one popped up and it kind of uh, caught me by surprise. Honestly, it says antique and vintage lot of empty sunglass or I'm sorry, eyeglass cases. It's a large priority box full. And you can see here, it looks like the conditions do vary. I see these at the Goodwill bins all the time. You know what I'm going to start picking up? These. And I know Donatella Bottolino will sell these over on her YouTube channel to other resellers and they will buy them in bulk from her. So I'm there must be something to this. So I, I'm guessing maybe a reseller is buying this and they're going to part these out. I have no idea. But uh, this one definitely caught my attention. If you guys are not following Donatella Bottolino, definitely check her out. I will link her down in the description. Okay, so this is a large flat rate box. So that gives you an idea of how many is there. 
this was a legit sale and this is something that this seller sells. Um, look right here. The glasses cases I bought this time is disappointing. It's not as good as the one I bought before. <laughs> so it looks like maybe the same. I don't know for sure. But if you look at this number here and this number here, these all match. So it looks like the same person maybe bought all four of these lots. But and maybe this one as well. But somebody else bought this one. Um, this one only went for twenty two forty nine. So they probably got their first box and were hooked and then came back and bought more. I don't know. But two hundred two hundred and fifty dollars sunglass cases or eyeglass cases. They're not sunglass. I'm sorry. Eyeglass cases and probably finding the antique and vintage are a little harder than just finding normal sunglass cases. So. All right, Garbage Pail Kids. If you don't know Garbage Pail Kids in general, are a bolo. If you have the old vintage ones, they can go for big money. But not only do the cards go for big money, but these old boxes go for big money as well. These sold for $300 plus shipping. All right. Now, here we go. Shotgun shell ammo. So let's just talk about ammo in general. These old boxes with the vintage advertising. Wow, wow, wow. Um, and we're going to look at more of these at the end of the video. But this is the number one selling empty box. Just over and over and over again, I see these. These must be very, very collectible. Um, all of the photos, you will see that they show the empty box and it has to say empty box and the title because otherwise I don't even I don't know if you can sell ammo or not. I'm going to guess that you cannot sell ammo, um, but it can only be the empty box and you want to put empty box in the title most definitely. All right. The next one here is a I don't know if it's hidden or hidden. Um, this is an, another empty box for a old fishing lure. And there were quite a few fishing lure boxes that went for big money. This one sold for $333.34 plus shipping. And I don't think I told you, um, if you're just listening and, and not watching, the ammo shell is a Winchester shotgun shell ammo box. It sold for $316 plus shipping. All right, so we did the fishing lure. Let's go on to this one. This is a vintage 1953 Topps baseball picture card, empty box, bazooka gum, five cent wax pack. So this is empty. It is just the box. And they put some peanuts in there, it looks like, for shipment. Um, but yeah, no cards. $524.88 plus shipping on that. Here is another shotgun shell box. So more ammo. And this is high velocity, Peter's two piece. And this sold for $610 plus shipping. Here's one. This one looks really, really old. Um, vintage federal high power two piece uh, 0.410 gauge shotgun shell ammo box empty. $398 plus shipping. This is a vintage Smith and Wesson Wesson single action empty box as found so i am not sure if this is for i don't think this is ammo i think this is for the actual um piece itself 525 dollars on that one that is incredible right 525 dollars these are matchbox lindsay cars and boxes oh wait are the cars in there all right, let's disregard this one. I thought they were empty boxes. That is so weird. Okay, so look. Matchbox, Lindsay, cars, and boxes collection. Lot, vintage, large, lot of empty boxes. So are some of them empty and some of them not? I'm so confused. Let's see. Um, most boxes are in really good condition. Some have wear. Cars are in rough to excellent condition. Hmm. Boxes and beginning photos are empty and all cars are pictured later as to what you'll receive. Only a few cars match boxes. Okay, so it looks like most of these are probably empty boxes, but some of them do come with cars. So that one was a little bit confusing, but you can see that the person is still adding the empty boxes and I'm sure that increased the value of this. $561.88 plus shipping. Here is a rare empty box for 
North Channel Minnow Old Fishing Lure. So this is another fishing lure box. And you can see the condition is not incredible. And $648 plus shipping on this. Black Cow Suckers from the 1940s. Okay, it's an empty display box for black cow candy. And this sold for $99.99 plus shipping. Oops. Oh, nope. I wanted to do this one. Okay. So these were all in the same person's store as sold. I did look, nothing was relisted, but there was no feedback on these, but this is a, uh, Jester's 1924 universal theaters, empty candy box. Here is a football candy box from the 1920s or the thirties that sold for five twenty five, And this one is a rare baseball, empty candy box that sold for 450. Um, just incredible. It says one cent on it. So this person, their store, they actually sell quite a few empty boxes. It's kind of their thing, right? This one is a Chattanooga Choo Choo's candy box. It's empty. Now, this one did not go for crazy money, but this one is more... Um, oh, what do I want to say? More specific to like maybe a specific area. This sold for $67.87 plus shipping. So it's going to take the right buyer for something like this. Iceland Sandwich. This is from the 1930s. At first, I thought it was a vintage Halloween, but it's not. It says exceptionally rare Iceland Sandwich candy box. $76 plus shipping on that. This one here is a vintage Easter empty candy chocolate egg box cardboard. And you can see here it says milk chocolate. And this sold for $102.50 plus shipping. I'm guessing the Campbell's soup is there to show scale. I would use a tape measure, but, you know, everybody has their different ways of showing scale. So uh, the next item here is this 1973 Topps Candy Lids Baseball Display Box Hank Aaron Empty Candy Container. So, again, condition is not crazy good. Sold for $445 plus shipping. And you can see right here, this was a good sale. So I did go in and what you do is you go into the feedback and you can type in candy and then it's going to pull up anything that sold with candy. And that's going to help you narrow it down to see if the item actually sold. This is a vintage Whitman's Valentine empty heart candy box. So Valentine's Day candy boxes can definitely be a bolo. This one's all pretty sold for $306.50 plus shipping. So let's talk about the number one selling empty box, and that is ammo. And we're just going to start right here at the top. What I put in was vintage empty box ammo, highest first, and we are under solds, $499, $499, $469. Let's just look at some of the different graphics and the condition. And you guys can kind of look at the sold prices as we scroll through here, but just in Incredible. They all say empty box. Um, very, very important to include that. These all have vintage in the title. This one is a lot. Somebody could be uh, buying that to maybe resell it. But just really, really cool. And let me know down in the comments. Did you know about this? Would you have walked past it if you had not seen this video? Will you be looking for this item? And this is a bolo category video. I have lots and lots of these types of videos. Um, I have a whole playlist, so definitely go and check that out. Um, a lot of the categories I do may surprise you. So um, tonight I am working on category videos, so stay tuned for more of these coming soon. And definitely check out some of the old ones. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and my channel teaches about items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. I have many types of Bolo videos. I've got... Um, these category videos, I've got what sold videos, things that I have sold, things that uh, my Facebook members have sold, my featured members from my YouTube channel, just tons and tons of what sold videos and different things like that. I also take you to the Goodwill bins with me and you can watch me source. We go to thrift stores, all types of good stuff. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, one down below and a subscribe button. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. Let me know how you found the channel in the comments and thanks for watching. Now, um, what was I going to say? <laughs>
I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Moving on. <laughs> Be sure to check out another video. I've got all types of different uh, type. I have all. I, I don't know. I can't talk. I just can't talk.